A Baloch activist claimed that Pakistani security forces opened fire on protesters in Quetta, leading to the death of one individual. The incident unfolded during a demonstration organized by Baloch nationalists, who were demanding the release of missing persons. Eyewitnesses reported that the protest turned violent when security personnel attempted to disperse the crowd. While the situation remains tense, human rights organizations have condemned the use of force, calling for a thorough investigation into the actions of the Pakistani forces. The incident has intensified ongoing tensions between Baloch separatists and the Pakistani government. The Indian Navy successfully rescued three injured crew members from a foreign vessel that caught fire off the Goa coast. The incident occurred when the ship, en route from another country, suffered a blaze in its engine room. Upon receiving an emergency distress call, the Navy deployed its rescue teams, reaching the vessel promptly. The injured crew members were airlifted and brought to safety. Authorities have initiated an investigation into the cause of the fire, while the vessel remains under the monitoring of maritime agencies to prevent further complications. Delhi police reportedly dismantled an illegal immigration syndicate that facilitated the entry of Bangladeshi nationals into India. The operation led to the arrest of four individuals involved in the racket. Authorities uncovered a network that forged documents and arranged illegal travel for the immigrants. The police operation began after a tip-off about the syndicate's activities, and investigations revealed a larger network operating across multiple regions. The arrested individuals are being interrogated, and further inquiries are underway to track down additional members of the illegal operation. Experts highlighted India's Agni 1P anti ship ballistic missile, ASBM as a powerful tool for engaging and neutralizing moving maritime threats, including aircraft carriers. The missile, a part of India's strategic defense arsenal, is capable of accurately targeting and striking fast-moving naval vessels at long ranges. Recent tests demonstrated its advanced capabilities in real-world conditions, enhancing India's maritime defense. The missile's precision and speed make it a critical asset for the Indian military, providing a strategic edge in countering threats from adversarial fleets in the region. Military officials emphasized its role in strengthening national security. Experts discussed the limitations of Pakistan's JF-17 Block III fighter jet, specifically its AESA radar range, which renders it less effective in fully integrating Chinese Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air missiles, BVRAMs. The radar's limited range prevents the jet from independently targeting and engaging distant threats. Consequently, the JF-17 relies heavily on airborne warning and control systems or AWACS for support in long-range engagements. Military analysts pointed out that this dependence could reduce the jet's overall combat effectiveness and strategic flexibility, highlighting the need for further upgrades to enhance its capabilities. The delay in the development of India's TED-BF program has led the Indian Navy to extend the service life of its MiG-29K aircraft beyond the initial 2035 retirement plans. Originally, the TED-BF was expected to replace the MiG-29K on Indian aircraft carriers by the mid-2030s. However, due to setbacks in the TED-BF's production timeline, the Navy has opted to keep the MiG-29K in service for several more years. This decision has prompted adjustments to maintenance and upgrade schedules, ensuring operational readiness until the new fighter enters service. Kalyani Powertrain, a Bharat Forge subsidiary, teamed up with AMD to enhance India's server infrastructure by integrating AMD's EPYC processors into locally manufactured server solutions. Announced on February 24, 2025, at a Pune event, the partnership was attended by key figures, including Baba Kalyani and Vinay Sinha. The collaboration aims to improve data center performance, energy efficiency and security, reducing the total cost of ownership. Future plans include integrating AMD Instinct accelerators for AI and HPC. This initiative supports India's Make in India campaign and is set to advance sectors like AI, cloud computing and telecommunications. The Indian Air Force has reportedly endorsed the idea of placing the development of the 110 kN engine for the AMCA under direct oversight by the Prime Minister's office. This move aims to expedite the engine's progress, which has faced delays and is crucial for the AMCA, India's next-generation fighter jet. 
The IF support stems from the urgency to equip the AMCA with a powerful, domestically produced engine to ensure its performance meets future combat needs. The 110 kN engine, being developed by the Gas Turbine Research Establishment GTRE, is expected to provide the necessary thrust for the AMCA's advanced capabilities, such as stealth and maneuverability. While progress on the engine has been slow, there have been significant discussions within the Ministry of Defense and the IF about overcoming the technical and production hurdles. Key figures, including senior officials from the IF and Defense Ministry, are reportedly working to streamline the process. The involvement of the PMO is seen as a strategic step to fast-track development, enabling the AMCA program to stay on schedule and ensure the timely introduction of India's future fighter jets into service. The initiative aligns with India's broader goals of strengthening self-reliance in defense technologies. The Indian Navy is preparing for a significant upgrade in its maritime combat capabilities with the planned purchase of 26 Rafale Marine fighter jets. The deal, which includes 22 single-seater Rafale M aircraft and four twin-seater Rafale B trainers, is expected to be finalized in April 2025 during the French defense minister's visit to India. The 7 billion euro agreement, which is equivalent to rupees 63,000 crore, marks a major investment in the Navy's carrier-based air power, vital for maintaining a strong presence in the Indo-Pacific region. The Rafale M jets will replace the aging MiG-29K fleet, which has faced reliability issues. These new aircraft will be deployed on India's two aircraft carriers, the INS Vikramaditya and the newly launched INS Vikrant. The decision follows extensive testing at the shore-based test facility in Goa, where the Rafale M outperformed the Boeing FA-18 Super Hornet. Delivery of the first Rafale M jets is expected in late 2029, with the full fleet integrated by late 2031. This acquisition will enhance the Navy's ability to project power, conduct long-range attacks, and safeguard vital maritime trade routes as tensions rise in the Indian Ocean and South China Sea. Additionally, the arrival of MQ-9BC Guardian UAVs is set to further bolster naval surveillance and strike capabilities. The Indian Air Force is accelerating the acquisition of 114 new fighter jets through its MRFA program, with an expected RFP release by late 2025 or early 2026. This expedited process follows recommendations from a high-level committee to address the IF shortfall of 12 squadrons, currently operating around 30 instead of the authorized 42. The $20 billion program aims to bolster India's air capabilities amid growing regional security concerns. To streamline procurement, a simplified single clearance mechanism will reduce the timeline by three to four years. Instead of lengthy proposal evaluations, the IF will conduct limited flight trials to select two shortlisted vendors. Major competitors are expected to include Dassault Rafale, Boeing FA-18 Super Hornet and others. Following trials, negotiations will focus on technology transfer, local production and cost. The Make in India initiative is expected to influence the final decision. That's all from YKS team for now. Hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.